Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. This is the first Sunday of the month, so it's draw time. Um, fortunately, my wife Deb's here, so she's going to come in and do the draw for us. These are the prizes for this week. That's a very nice chuck that was kindly given to us. All bright chuck. Number two most tape proper job. Set of Cleveland drills, double boost twist that cup, and a couple of stickers. Hi everybody, I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to one of John's monthly draws. As most of you know, I'm Deborah, John's wonderful wife. Got a lot to put up with. So in the hat, I have some more names to drop in the bucket with the rest for the draw. Well, I didn't have to pick one, one jumped out. So we might as well have it. No looking at the mess on John's floor. Okay. There we go. Jacob Fawkes. Whoops. There you go. Well done. Just hope you all take care. Bye. Right, Deb, that was great. All you need to do now is send me an email with your address and I'll get that posted off to you anywhere in the world, basically completely free of charge. I'm going to do another draw. If you want to enter the draw, all you need to do is send me an email. That's me email address up there and all you need to put on the email is your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, the prize gets posted off. Once you've been drawn out of the bucket, you obviously you don't go back in. These are the prizes for next month's draw. Naturally a double boost cup, a standard set of drills, a couple of stickers and a lovely little Mercer. Dale gauge. Bob's done his magic on that one. All ready to go. In last week's nightcap, I tried to start one of my dad's little uh, glow plug engines. Um, I had a lot of people commenting saying I don't want to be running one of those engines inside because the exhaust fumes are pretty toxic, not good for you. I did a little bit of research and they certainly aren't good for you. So I was going to run one outside, but it's been raining every day this week. Um, I get it from work, it's dark and wet. I'm off work week after next, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time and run some engines up in the garden, which I'll film and I'll show. In tonight's nightcap, I finish off that lantern tool holder, do a little bit of work on the milling machine with it. I make a couple of keys for a French traction engine, and then I make a, a thing for myself. I make a, a holder for holding angle grinders, like a, a rack for the wall. Uh, it doesn't really go according to plan, but I still show it um, because I'm sure you'll get the gist how it works, and you'll probably get a bit of a laugh anyway. Right, that's enough talking. Let's get on with tonight's videos. Right, I'm at the stage now where I need to put the slot in there. It's a 14mm slot, which starts 30 from that end, obviously in the centre. It's 90mm long. I've got this clamp in the vise, I've had a parallel end, it's clamped really tight, it's going nowhere. So I need to find the centre of it, so we'll bring the little edge finder out of it. There's a bit chirp. Like that. Zero the axis. And we'll go around to the other side. To make sure we keep it at the same height. And bring it into the touches, which is there. It's giving it a reading of 30, giving it a reading of 40, because that's 30 mil wide and the ball's 10 mil, so that's absolutely spot on. So on a half the y axis. Into zero. Right, now lock that up with that. What we can do, bring it up that just touches. Oh, 
can't. I was going to work it back and forward, but it, I do need to. It's obviously in the middle, no doubt about it. Right next, I need to find that end. there so we need 30 so we'll do a five first that's the thickness of the ball taken away and then 30 into 35 it's a half inch a half inch it's a 40 mil slot so on seven off that which makes it 42 Right, so that'll be the bottom end of the slot, 42. Which is absolutely spot on. Right, the slot's 140 long. Minus seven for the end. Can it be, John? Right, that's wrong, it should be 30, not 40. Right, that's better. Right, and that's the distance I want to be apart. I'm going to drill holes in here just to help the cool water go away from the slot. Doing too bad for a cheap and cheery bang good drill.
Right, that's a half inch drill, and I'm going to put a half inch milling cutter in to do the slot, and then I can open that up to 14 mil. I'm going to put a already call it in here without any chuck and put the cutter straight in there just to keep things as rigid as possible. Even having the riser block in here, I can still use the full height of the machine because I did make a new lead screw for the Z axis. Definitely a, a cooling job, this one. I'm going to set the stops up on the bed of the machine so I don't go past the end of the hole. These are the stops. Right, so that stops us going past the end of the hole that way. Just put a power feed on this. It's going to take me time and A little bit more than that, I think. Not doing too bad. See, I'm not in a great hurry to get through this. I don't want to snap the cut or make a mess of the job. I found a happy compromise with the speed and feed. And it's doing a two and a half mil depth cut, which is enough for what I need. Bollocks. Hello. Having those two holes there we can means all the chips and shape are dropping straight through instead of filling the, the slot up. We've got a pile of chips forming there and they're happy chips. Nice silver shiny ones, not nasty blue screechy ones. Certainly got a knife set in there where it's gonna be cutting really well. Right, we're through now, so I need 0 
nil off each side. So, sounds all that torture -ish. Just clean up the 14 mil. This should be the last cut. Putting a decent finish in there. It's absolutely spot on, 14 mil. That's a hell of a sharp edge that. There's one little piece in there. It actually milled better when it was solid back here than when I had a hole halfway down through it. But it's done the job. And I'm happy with that. Right, that's it. Not bad at all. For a little lightweight mill. Might have taken a bit of time, but the result's excellent. Very happy. I do like these horrible edges, and then I think that's about it done. It's better. The bolt I've got for here is an ordinary, got an ordinary bolt head on it. I might see if the lad wants to change in and put a square head on it because it certainly wouldn't have been a, a 17mm hexi bolt head when the lathe was made. It's better. I'm really pleased the way this has turned out. I've enjoyed doing it. Once again, it's something that's going to probably be here when I'm not. I'm not like the modern shite I work on. And it'll no go multi de ragging tools starting to get a bit worn now. I've had it quite a while. That's much better. Much better. We'll settle for that, I think. Yeah, very happy with that. I like it. I like it a lot.